Sometimes we, we feel down here somewhat paranoid about the fact that most of the agendas that come out from central government seem to be focused on the urban issues rather than on the rural issues. We've got less professional um, families in the school now than we had in the, in the past, so we've had a variety of experiences with parents. A school such as Beer Alston has analysed its needs, analysed the changes that have taken place and adapted policies, procedures, teaching, whatever, according to needs. It's clearly meeting the needs of its children. We've travelled across the country to visit five areas where schools are working in innovative and interesting ways to raise attainment and are succeeding in bridging the gap. Beer Alston is a small village in the county of Devon with one primary school. 11 miles from the nearest town and with poor public transport, Beer Alston is a classic example of rural deprivation. The stereotyping view of Devon as a shire county, as an affluent shire county, is a crude representation, an unsophisticated view of reality. It isn't actually like that. And just sometimes we, we feel down here somewhat paranoid about the fact that most of the agendas that come out from central government um, seem to be focused on the urban issues rather than on the rural issues. And, and actually we do have real genuine difficulties. You'll never find any politician who says they have enough money, and I certainly don't. Um, I mean, the, the simple reality is that my county treasurer tells me that of the 150 authorities in, in UK, Devon is 146th in that league table in terms of funding. So we are significantly underfunded. Despite the lack of funding and the below average skills of school entrance, the local school has been judged exceptional in every area of school life. Engaging the parents and community, and with the use of increased communication, the head teacher Kim Wilde has succeeded against the odds to create a successful school. Following our Ofsted year in June 2006, we had outstanding in all five areas. We deserved it in a way because there is a staff here that always had the children's interests at heart. Um, we want to see the children of Beer Alston achieving the best they possibly can. Because that was a very honest thing to do, so well done Lily. Really. need to do is, is see how... We've got an established staff, some may say over the hill, but um, we don't think that. The fact that we've got people that have worked together for a number of years means that we know the, the strengths of each individual and we use those strengths in a positive way within the school. We've also been invited to join Devon Primary Skit, which is um, school-based initial teacher training. I'm on a, effectively on a PGCE course, but I'm based in school all the time. I mean, I've always got the support of the class teacher at the moment. I've got, for example, here I've got half of the class and I can call on the class teacher for assistance. And a lot of my planning is done in conjunction with the class teacher. Thomas, have you put in the number of people now? The fact that we've got new people coming in all the time is a form of continuing professional development. There's a mixture of, of experience and fresh ideas, and, but lack of experience. It's a nice balance. With only 200 pupils, who have mainly grown up in the village, one of the keys to success is seen to be the school's engagement with local families. There are several activities that go on in the village that have recently been established. One of them is, is the craft club up at the uh, church hall. What you got, mate? On Thursday after school, we have a craft club. Anything between 20 and 30 children will come along to the church hall and there's a variety of activities. You've got a rabbit, yeah, and there's an otter. It needs to fit in the door. Ah, it needs to fit in the door. They gain from the experience interaction with adults. They've got freedom on, on various tables to experiment and create for themselves. I'm sure that activities like this and the other uh, after schools clubs help them feel part of village life. Beer Alston's not an affluent area. There are a lot of single parents and there's not a huge amount of opportunity for work in the area. We've got less professional 
um, families in the school now than we had in, in the past. So we've had a variety of experiences with parents in terms of how many come in and help. One of the village parents who comes in to help is Lindsay Hember. Can you remember? I'm just in helping listen to some of the children read. I mean, the school do such a good job. I've had two children come through the school and um, I feel that they've done a lot for my children and it's just good to give something back. It is a partnership and we want parents to feel that they're part of that partnership and it's important that they feel confident about coming into school and that they understand what's happening in the school. A strategy that the school uses to help ensure good communication with parents is the Ellie book. We call them Ellie Spelly books. They started off as elephant books and if they've fallen over and hurt themselves, a little note goes in there to let the parents know. It's not the only means of communication because obviously we like to talk to people face to face but some parents don't pick the children up and we then know that the message has got back. It's your Ellie Spelly book. It is a lot to do with the school involving the parents, just letting us know what's happening at the school, what they're learning. Because when you go up the school, sometimes they haven't got time, because obviously they're seeing to the children coming in the classroom. So it's better to write down if you have anything that you want to say to the teachers to write it in the Ellie Spelly book. Should we see what spellings you've got? The Ellie Spelly book is also used for writing the children's weekly spellings and if they've got any homework in there. So it's another way of improving the literacy skills for the children. Along with the Ellie book, improvements in literacy have come from encouraging home reading and from the older children acting as reading buddies for the younger ones. This reception class is being visited by Year 6 children for their weekly reading together session. It's particularly important to make sure that children at opposite ends of the school that get to know one another and what we've done to foster this relationship between the year six and the reception children is we've got reading partners so the year six children go down into the reception class choose a book they read to those children on a weekly basis so why do you like reading together because he like he listens to us and he appreciates it why they put you two together i think it's just because his personality, really. What's he like then? I'm not sure. I know he likes dinosaurs. What else do you like, mate? I think he just likes the animals. Improving results in literacy have required a lot of work from staff, pupils, and parents. Similarly, in maths, there's extra work to be done. At lunch times, on a daily basis, we have a group of children that work on the computers for about 10 minutes. It's a maths programme that we've found really effective in raising children's attainment and their confidence. OK, Harry, you sure you hear it all right? Okay. Well, this is the maths at lunchtime that happens every day and it goes through, covers pretty much all the curriculum and it's a teaching programme so it teaches them as well and it's a mixture of children that are uh, need extra support either with confidence or with their ability in maths. This just seems to help because the 10 minutes every day of a week it means an extra maths lesson and that can help some of the children. Some of the children actually come in before school in the morning as well so in effect they're getting extra maths lessons without them really knowing it. Who's not got a proper group at the moment because somebody's away? We believe at Birrellston that it's not just about numeracy and literacy, it's also about the broader curriculum. And as a result of that, we made sure that the children had um, access to high quality dance and gymnastics. No, what? We're not allowed to cross our legs in dance or gymnastics, are we, Sarah? By giving them these experiences, we build the children's confidence up and just seeing how other people live and the types of things that they might be able to aspire to in the future. So we'll go round and we'll have everybody doing a bit of improvisation, making up a rhythm that everybody else can follow. All right. There are some children that find academic work quite difficult and we wanted them 
to have an opportunity to shine as well. One of the ways that we've done this is to introduce instruments um, throughout the school. It raises children's self-esteem because they have to perform in front of one another. The name of our club is Jumping Gen Bass. I think I'd quite like to hear the African drum drums actually in Africa and see them. We've had more people join and we've made new friends. I think I'm quite confident, but I'll give it about 7 out of 10. Interestingly, one or two of the um, parents have bought African drums themselves, so they're happily drumming away with their children at home. <laughs> That's true. <laughs>a slow process over a number of years we managed to move the children almost in line with, with um, national curriculum levels at the end of key stage one but the children make even more progress when they get into key stage two they're very mixed ability children here so we have to think of different programs to do with a variety of children Young couples with new families are now moving to this area specifically for the school. We have increasingly over the last few years had a lot of people moving from urban areas to Birralston because they want that slower pace of life. Although it may be slower in terms of traffic and things like that but it certainly isn't in terms of the expectations that we have for our children. They work hard here. These children might work hard, but they seem keen on fun too. And they're about to reveal they know a secret Kim was keen to hide. Happy birthday, happy birthday, have a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I really would just want to pay tribute to the teaching staff to the head teachers, to the advisors, to the governors, to the parents, to all of the people who together, working together, provide for this um, totality of provision. We're about improving the conditions and the education of children. Those are the people who actually deliver it. A school such as Beer Austin has analysed its needs, analysed the changes that are taking place and adapted policies or procedures, teaching, whatever, according to needs. It's clearly meeting the needs of its children. We're very proud of our school. We're very proud of the children and we're very grateful for the support that we get from our parents and the wider community because it just makes a job that is actually quite tough a little bit easier. Raising attainment at Beer Alston has been about raising the standards for literacy and for numeracy and also to improve and establish really good relationships with parents who are partners in the learning process.